OK, so in this problem, we have a football is placed on a horizontal surface. It is then kicked so that it has an initial velocity of 12 metres per second and an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal. Firstly, state two modelling assumptions that it would be appropriate to make when considering the motion of the football. OK, so because we don't want to have to deal with... Um, problems about the ball's shape. What we can do is make the assumption that the football is a particle. Okay, So we can treat it just as a particle moving through the air. Okay, Or moving through, um, moving through the sky, if you like. So, first of all, assumption number one Ball is a particle. Okay, so its shape doesn't become uh, something that we have to consider. Now, assumption number two with many of these problems, and this one included, we don't want to have to worry about air resistance. Okay, so we're going to assume that there is no air resistance. Now you might think that, you know, that would cause problems if we we're actually looking at the motion of this football, okay? Because, you know, if you think about um, the size of a football and its shape, you would assume um, and, and its mass, you would assume that um, air resistance would play an effect um, in certain situations. Okay, so we've got to think of it. Uh, in order to simplify the maths enough, we are going to assume that there is no air resistance that we need to consider. Right, so part B, find the time that it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height. So the situation that we have is that this ball is going to travel in a parabolic shape. Okay, parabolic uh, projectile problem. Ooh. And it will have this initial uh, velocity of 12 meters per second and it's kicked off at an angle of 40 degrees. Okay, so find the time that it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height. So its maximum height will be halfway. I haven't really drawn this too spectacularly, but you know, it's just a, just a diagram, okay? So its maximum height will be achieved halfway along. Okay, so, um, the motion of a particle, okay, if in the x direction, its position can be given by v t cos theta, okay, where v is the initial velocity, and its y position can be found by having v t sine theta. But we also need to take gravity into account, so minus a half g t squared. Okay, so these are the equations uh, that define the position of the particle. Now, um, because we're looking at finding the time that it takes the ball to reach its maximum height, the maximum height will actually be when there is no uh, velocity in the y direction. So the velocity of y will be zero. Now, we have here the position of y. Now, to get the velocity, you differentiate with respect to t. So the derivative of this will be v sine theta. Well, shall we put the v in? So that we've got, so that'd be 12 t cos 40. We'll put the angle in as well. So 12 
t sine 40 uh, minus a half g t squared. Okay. So the derivative of this uh, will be zero because the velocity at that time, at that point, will be zero in the y direction. So zero will be equal to 12 sine 40. Okay, so that's the derivative of that. And the derivative of this will be minus gt. Okay. So, uh, gt will be 12 sine 40. So that t is 12 sine 40 divided by g. Okay. So, I'm going to take g as 9.8 in this example. So we have 12 times sine of 40 divided by 9.8 and that is naught, naught point 0.787 seconds to three significant figures. Okay? So that is how we can deal with this situation, this modelling situation of this football as a projectile.